Welcome to the Debian Stable, Episode 1. Today we are going to install Debian Stable in VirtualBox, and we're going to do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. For today's exercise, we're going to start on Debian.org. Click the link to Getting Debian. I chose the 32-bit PC Net install. All right, and as that file has already downloaded, I'm going to go into the installation manual and the installation guide for the 32-bit. If you're using 64-bit, you'll probably want to read the documentation on the 64-bit. Let's go ahead and minimize this, and then we will proceed. I've already got the image downloaded, and we will open up VirtualBox. Okay, now let's go ahead and create a new virtual machine. All right, we're going to call this Debian. And then next, I want this to have two gigs of RAM. I have eight gigs on my machine, so two gigs is plenty to work with. I'm going to create a new hard disk and a VDI virtual box disk image is okay. Dynamically allocated. This will allow it to expand as we put more files in it. A fixed size will give the amount of space that you specify for it. I want this to have 20 gigs of my dry space. And then create. Next, we'll go into settings on this and we'll change some options. In the display, I want this to have 64 megs just in case we decide to do 3D acceleration in network. I want to be sure that is attached to NAT as it is already selected for us. We are not going to be using any shared folders, but we will make sure that we have USB 2 support enabled in case we want to use anything off of a flash drive or any other USB components. We'll press OK. OK, now we'll start the virtual machine and a wizard will pop up asking us to locate the image we wish to use. And I'm going to point that to the Debian 604 i386 net install ISO. Open that up and press next. Then we'll press start. I'll go ahead and close this. We don't need that right now. And we can select graphical install. I'll reposition this. All right, now I'll select English as our language, United States, American English. It's going to detect and mount everything. Okay, now the next screen is going to ask us what we want to name our uh, host. Uh, I'm just going to leave it uh, Debian as default, but you can name it anything you want to. All right. And I'm just going to press continue. I am not going to put anything in the domain name. And then it's going to ask us to set up users and passwords. So I'll put in a password for root. I'm going to put in my name. And the username for the account is OK. Password it. All right, next uh, it's asking for the time zone. We're in the, I'm in the Eastern time zone. It's detecting disks and hardware and everything. And it's preparing to go into the partition manager. 
All right, and now I'm going to go into guided, use the entire disk. And uh, it's selected my virtual hard disk here. We'll go with the, um, all files in one partition, recommended for new users. All right, and we're gonna, it's already selected, finish partitioning and write changes to disk. And yes, of course we do. Now it's going through the process of installing the base system. It's also using the internet to download packages that it requires. Okay, and next we're going to be configuring the package manager. I'm in the United States, I'll press continue. And uh, ftp.us.debian.org is probably as good of a choice as any. Okay, we don't need any HTTP proxies. And now it's scanning the mirror. Okay, the next prompt we are looking at is the configuring popularity contest, which will help the developers make a determination of which packages people are using. If you wish to participate in it, you can select yes, otherwise no. I'm going to actually uh, let them know what kind of packages I'm running on this to help the developers. The next prompt is the software selection phase. You can select a graphical environment, web server, print server, DNS server, file server, mail server, SQL database, SSH server, laptop, and standard system utilities. I'm just going to go with these, with the first one and the last one This at this point. We can always add more later if we desire. Depending on your internet speed, this may take a while for it to download all of the packages from the internet. Please be patient and allow it to finish. Okay, now that you have everything installed and hopefully you didn't die of old age waiting you are now permitted uh, presented with this uh, dialogue asking you if you want to install the grub bootloader to the master boot record of course you do so we'll press continue all right and now installation is finished all right and we'll reboot the computer and uh, we'll see what happened all right, now we're presented with the grub menu, and of course it is running an older kernel. This is stable. All right, so let's go ahead and boot this thing up. All right, let's go ahead and log in with our password. Okay, and now we have a nice, stable GNOME 2 desktop. In the next episode on Debian Stable, we are going to review this operating system and I'm going to show you everything that you got using the settings that I picked for installing this operating system. If you thought this was useful, please comment and subscribe, Google, Facebook, and Twitter. We'll keep you up to date every time I upload a new video to YouTube. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.